What's the meanest thing a woman has ever said to you? Welcome to Reddit Rundown. Today, we will share one of the top posts on Reddit's Ask Men page. I want a divorce and I'm keeping the house, said to my face as my father lay dying of a heart attack. Spoiler, she did not get the house. I dumped all my savings into a lawyer who uncovered a years-long credit card scheme she was running. One, sign here or you're going to jail for a long time. Conversation later, I was a free man. I asked a girl out at a bar and she laughed, apologized, and said, Oh, I'm sorry, I just don't really see Asian guys as men. Pretty sure she was trying to say that she wasn't attracted to Asian men, but she was drunk and said it in the worst possible way. An ex said I had a baby penis after we broke up, and she hooked up with another dude. It hurt a bit, but I measured the willy and realized I'm above average and that she's just a shallow witch. You're a witch, Eris said it. Never thought one of my most upvoted comments would contain the phrase, baby penis, huh? My ex-wife and I were having an argument and went back into an intellectual corner, rather than admit I was right or apologize. She saw fit to simply unload on me every insecurity I had ever confided in her. At that exact moment, I felt the last drop of love I had for her drain from my heart. You look like you'll be a rapist when you grow up. My ex-wife once said to me, why don't you just kill yourself like your brother did? This was less than a month after he had killed himself. First and only time ever felt the urge to hit a woman. I didn't though. One time a girl said to me, wow you're 22, you're balding like you're in your mid 30s, which seemed uncalled for. Edit, this wasn't a girl I was interested in, so I didn't really let it impact me too much. It was just rude haha. I think less of myself for being with you. Edit. Well I didn't think anyone would read this, but it could use some context. So many years ago I started dating this really awesome girl. She was super smart, and one of the most creative people I have ever met. And she had a great sense of humor. Problem was that we came from very different backgrounds. She came from a really stable home, with two parents who had good earnings and very little drama. I on the other hand came from a very poor family consisting of an extremely alcoholic single mother and a drug addict brother. I was the most mature person in our household for as long as I can remember and had to take on adult responsibility at a very young age. I was always embarrassed by my family and never really dated because I didn't want to expose anyone to the shitty parts of my life. But this time, I went for it because I liked her so much. So we started dating, initially hanging out at friends' houses and in public. But as things went on, we need a place to hang out alone. Her parents were strict, and I wasn't allowed there without them around, so we started hanging out at my place sometimes. But only when no one was around my house. Eventually, my mom overdosed again, and I had to put her in rehab, and this allowed me and the so to hang out at my place all the time. Things were going really well, but eventually she became suspicious as to why she had never seen my family, or why I never spoke about my family or any part of my past that relates to them. It was around this time that my mom got out of rehab, so I invited my so over one time to meet my mom. I knew it wasn't going to be good, but I thought I should just show her what my life is actually like. Well, my mom was wasted and was belligerent. My mom didn't even let my so speak because she was babbling. It was a struggle to get my mom to bed, but after I did, my so told me that she felt like I had tricked her, that I had hid all this darkness from her until she was emotionally invested. Before I could respond, I heard my mom take a hard fall, and I rushed to check on her. By the time got my mom back to bed, I came out and saw my so standing in the doorway about to leave, and that's when she turned and said it, I think less of myself for being with you, and then she walked out. My fianc of one year at the time, on Valentine's Day, four months before our scheduled wedding, I don't think you're really that attractive. I mean, guess you're kind good looking but nothing special. Anyway, I've already slept with two guys since we took our break last week, and I'm just not feeling marriage right now. Sorry. I always liked him more than you. To be honest, I don't think I ever loved you I have gotten over a lot of what she said to me, but this one still stings to this day. That's the reason why friends leave you. You don't work and try enough. Stop fucking crying and man up already. We need to go for this dinner party, and you are an embarrassment. Ex-girlfriend. The day I failed architecture masters while being in a depression, she found me crying in the shower, wanted to become an architect since I was 10, and had a real hard time to see my dream get crushed. To clarify my situation, 
that Masters was a 32 hours workweek combined with the Master Education on Tuesday night, Friday, the whole day, living on 4 minus 5 hours sleep per night due to the workload. I was sitting on my bed and she had her head in my lap. I looked down at her and smiled. She looked up at me and said, I hope our kids don't get your nose. After being married for nearly 15 years, I love you, but I'm no longer in love with you. I don't care to collect insults. To carry those around can only make you weaker. I have no idea what the last insult I got was, and I don't care. It's not my problem if I don't choose it to be. I had an ex who went on quite a tirade against me because I went on a couple dates three months after we broke up. She basically took every mistake I'd ever told her about, every past trauma, and told me it was all my fault. I deserved it. I ruined people. Pretty much every awful thing she could think of. Then she punched me in the face and kneed me in the balls. The weird thing is, I didn't really care. I almost found the situation comical. But then, I felt awful, didn't care and thought there must be something wrong with me to make her feel that way. I did way too much over the next year or so to try to smooth things over, but eventually he realized I had it right the first time. Her opinion meant absolutely nothing to me. The last thing I said to her was when she asked why we couldn't be friends, and I said, because even if we were meeting for the first time today, you're not the type of person I'm friends with. Heard through the grapevine that she didn't take it well, but it was finally enough of a gut punch that she would leave me alone from then on. Was told she doesn't see how any woman will ever be attracted to me and that I should be eradicated from earth because I'm short. I still deal with insecurities. I don't mind if she's taller than me, but damn man that one sucked. First time meeting her through a mutual friend. Took one look at me in disgust, and then later on that night, she drops this on me for no apparent reason. Apparently she thought I was insufferable. This is Reddit Rundown. If you are new here, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thanks for watching.